A few years ago, the Dearborn Historical Museum did a popular video on how the buildings evolved at Michigan and Monroe Street. This week, we're going to look a block over and see how the buildings have changed over time at the corner of Michigan and Mason. So until the 1870s, all the land north of the intersection of Michigan and Mason Street was actually owned by the federal government because the Detroit Arsenal military base was still open in Dearborn. Once the base closed in 1875, that land could be sold off. And we know by the 1890s at the northeast corner, you actually had the Maurer Saloon that was there and was also serving as a hotel. That closed up around the early 1900s and that was replaced with a dry goods store. And then that fairly quickly closed as well. And you have in the late teens, around 1920, you actually had a gas station that opened up that became a standard oil gas station, which becomes the Amico brand, which becomes after mergers in more recent times, it becomes BP. The original 1920s gas station there at uh, Michigan and Mason actually survived for a fairly long time. Uh, it, it started until about 2004 when it was finally replaced with the current structure that's there, but it's still kind of fascinating that this structure basically opened as a standard oil station around 1920, and effectively it's the still the same gasoline that's being sold there. So the northwest corner of Michigan and Mason was largely undeveloped until the 1920s. A little further down the street, you had uh, the Ten Eyck Methodist Church that was built from uh, 1892 and survived until the 1920s. That was about where Buddy's Pizza is now. But for the most part, where Bryant Library is, is basically a vacant site until 23. At that point, township voters approved the money for a new library and Clara Ford, the wife of Henry Ford, actually offers to donate the site for a new library. So in November 1923, she, along with a bunch of other dignitaries, is there to do a groundbreaking for the library. And within a year, the library is open, and this is really the first proper library branch for the area. So that library stays open. Uh, it's when Henry Ford Centennial Library opens up in 1969, it's renamed into the Mason Branch Library. Uh, in the 70s, it becomes uh, the Bryant Branch Library, the, the, the name that it's known by today. So in the southwest corner of Michigan and Mason Street, we know by the early 1870s that there was a large dry goods store there in a fairly substantial brick building owned by David Sloss. Uh, it was three stories, uh, and in the upper level, you actually had the Masons, the Freemasons meeting there for uh, events. Um, you also had other general events that were held at this building. And when the structure burned down in 1905, it was a major event, unfortunately. So after the Sloss Fire uh, in 1917, Henry Ford actually had a new bank branch open there at that site. It was the Dearborn State Bank, and the building actually cost about $40,000 at the time to construct. It was designed by famous uh, architect Albert Kahn, and only about 10 years later, there was need for a much bigger building. And so Albert Kahn designed a much larger structure, and they actually had the old bank move further back on the property. and. At the original site of the bank, they built that much larger structure that still exists today. So the Dearborn State Bank was, in the Depression, eventually acquired by Manufacturers Bank, and Manufacturers Bank later on became Comerica Bank. Comerica still owns the, the structure today. So as for the southeast corner of Michigan and Mason Street, the big building that dominated that corner was the Cant Hotel, built in the first few years of the 20th century. Like the Maurer House across the street, that was also a hotel and a saloon. So that building, it operates as a hotel into the 1920s. 
Uh, it's replaced with a bunch of different businesses. There's a meat market in there, there's clothing stores. The big event though in that structure's history is in 1947, when the building is actually moved down Mason Street to the uh, east, the northeast corner of Mason Street and Mechanic Street, or what is now West Village Drive. So that building becomes Howell's Bar. And many people probably remember Howell's Bar. It survived for decades, and unfortunately it burned down in 2014. So when that's becoming Howell's Bar, back in Michigan and Mason Street, uh, a new building is constructed there that actually becomes a Winkleman's clothing store. Winkleman's, if you remember, was a big uh, Detroit clothing store chain. It, that location survives until about 1970. Um, it's replaced with a uniform shop and a bunch of other businesses that I won't go into here. So that pretty much concludes this video. I know I left out a bunch of different uh, businesses over time. So if you have any questions, feel free to email the museum at museum at ci.dearborn.mi.us.